Hi guys, welcome. Stop making noise when I'm doing an intro. Hang on, hang on, you're gonna eat, hold on. All right. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so yesterday, Michael and I went to the Logies. If you don't know, we did, that's what we did last night. Um, and we woke up this morning, like we left thinking, okay, we had fun, that was nice, it was civil. Um, and then we woke up this morning and there's like so much shit in the press mm -hmm. about what ha what happened at the Logies. So we want to tell you what really happened at the Logies last night. Okay, so we got we just got Uber Eats because we haven't really eaten. So we're going to have our Uber Eats and we're going to tell you guys I got a taco, a veggie taco. Um, I got a burrito. And then we also ordered chips from somewhere else because... You can't make up your mind. I wanted... Oh, these jalapenos are spicy. Don't, don't, don't. I, I want do them. I want them in here. All right. Okay, so... I'll show the article. I'm going to have one bite. Um, basically, if you really want to know about the Logies, it's boring. All right. So... The first article that we are going to address is something that happened on sunrise this morning. So there it is with Koshi and Sam, I think, who <clears throat> claimed, Koshi claimed that Martha elbowed him in the ribs as she walked past him on the red carpet. Yeah. Intentionally. Intentionally elbowed him on the red carpet to get him out of my way so I could get to the press and have my photo taken. Basically, they sat on national TV this morning and they made fun of me. Um, I think, who was the lady? What was her name? Sam. Sam. Yes, yeah, Sam made fun of me. She said she couldn't pick me out of a lineup. I don't know what that means. For me, the biggest issue here is that one, Koshi, if you had a problem, you're, you're an adult. Find Martha, ask her the question. Or just say right then and there, say, hey, watch it, you've elbowed me. I didn't... Easy as that. Where it just it becomes really childish when you start putting things out on TV when you don't know what the real situation is. wait, was. first of all, I didn't elbow him, first of all. Second of all, I don't even remember seeing this man there. I don't know who... I've never met him before. I don't know who he is, never seen him before. Um, so I don't remember it happening. If I did accidentally bump him, I'm sure I would have apologised because I did bump into a lot of people... The red carpet yeah, was, was packed and I made sure I apologized. Even if I accidentally knocked someone slightly, mm. I apologized. Um, but, and then Sam, oh, Sam... No, no, hold on, hold on. And then he, he called me short as well. He said, oh, she's really short. Mm. Like, sorry, that went Petty, on. it's petty. Sorry, I'm not 5'11". And, and then Sam saying... Obviously, Sam had a go as well and she oh, pushed she it too was, far. She then, was quite mean. But then at the end of it, she goes... I mean, it's just married at first, first sight. sight. Come on, like Sam, you're the you're on TV every day. You should know of all people that TV doesn't dehumanize you. Martha's a real person. She has real feelings. You've been bullied as well. You know exactly how it feels. I mean, I found an article from last year. I'm happy to read out your quote. Please do, doll. Which says, when you are in the spotlight, people are going to make things up about you. It does surprise me that in this era where women are getting it together and supporting each other, that still gossip writers want to put women against women. Um, that it, and then it says, Danny, it's men. So basically, why are you lashing out at another woman? Yeah, I, you don't know me. I've never spoken to you. I've done nothing to you, but then you feel that it's okay for you to sit on the morning show on national TV and make up this story about me that I elbowed, what's his name? Koshi. Koshi. It's bullshit, I never elbowed anyone. What else did they say though? They said other stuff. She really went for me. I don't understand what it means though. I well, all four of them, all other. four of them. Oh, and that yeah. other girl sitting next to her goes, oh, she had attitude. You, I did not even speak to you the whole night, but yet you know me well enough to know I have attitude. <sighs> <That's right. laughs> I'm over it. Uh, this thing, uh, yeah. Completely unnecessary, avoidable. Go to the Logies, enjoy your night. She just, they just made all these unnecessary comments when it's just not necessary. Like, I, I feel like I've never gotten 
onto my public platform and said anything bad about anyone. I don't know why everyone just continues to like take stabs at me. I, I've never once yeah. said anything. Yeah. I think it was a bit out of line as well. I'm that was the first one that really, I just thought like, dude, come on, you're like my dad's age. My dad would never call out some young girl and be like, I think you elbowed me when you I walked know. past me. Like, I just it's feel It's embarrassing like, for him. I know, oh. hard on him. Oh. All right, next one. Yeah. Okay, so this article says, Maths, Martha, Michael and Elizabeth rejected from entering the Logies after the red carpet. I've got food all over my face. <laughs> Wait, babe. I just lost all my guacamole. It's controversial. It's guacamole gate. Um, what was that one? So that we got rejected trying to enter the Logies after the red carpet. In, they were embarrassingly shunned from entering the actual show. Well, I, I don't think I've, like, I can't remember the last I time I was embarrassed. They went to the communal bar to watch the show from there. So after we did the red carpet, we we didn't have the dinner in the Logie's room where everyone else did. Mm -hmm. But they took us to another, another place in the casino, like another bar where they had a screening for the Logie's. The Channel 9. The Channel... Was it only yeah. Channel 9? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was only Channel 9. And we were there with like the cast, all the cast that were invited. Mm -hmm. And then like the people that work with Channel 9 that work on the show, yeah. like our publicists and the PR people. And a few people like, from other shows as well. On and Channel some 9. other Channel 9 shows. It was fun. We had a dinner with everyone, with our friends. Like we got to sit there. I feel like care about going to the Logies like and sitting in that room with everyone like. I don't even know who they are. Do you know who any of them are? Apart yeah. from like Guy Sebastian and Matt Preston. Like I don't really know. There's a the couple of good of ones in there. Hamish and Andy were good. They are good. Quality. Um, But like we weren't snubbed. We weren't embarrassed. Like don't, I couldn't care less. I kind of like wish that I didn't even go to the Logies now. I wish I didn't go. Um, if I could go back in time, I would say 100% I would fucking not go. Um... But we sat in a different room, big deal, don't care. Just We're no the, ones, you put yeah. us anywhere. Like That was everyone from maths. And that, it's just interesting how the article only says Michael, Martha and um, Lizzie. Lizzie, when there was also Cam and Jules in there, Heidi was in there, Nick was in there, Mike, Mike was, was in, in there. there. All of us were together sitting on a table. Yeah, it was nice. We all got to catch up, have a laugh, you know, and that was it. We went home after, and then we got changed, went to the, the after party for an hour. Mm -hmm. We saw John, the expert there. That was fun. He was. It was nice to bump into him. Love John. Um, what was? What's another one? All right. The Uber Eats message first, because that's the most important thing. Um, all right, I'm gonna go and get that food. Oh, but I ordered more hot chips, so he's gotta go and pick up my. <laughs> but food. I'll give you the next article. No, we'll wait for you, hun. We'll all wait right. for you. Take it with you. Go, go. I had a rip move. Wait, wait, babe, I'm gonna miss you so much. Oh, babe. <laughs> babe. <laughs> I keep losing all my fucking guacamole. Man, yum to this taco. How dumb was I getting one? Who am I getting? Should have got more. Imagine I ask Michael to order me another taco on Uber Eats. He'll die. He's such a tight ass. He won't get it. Mm. Babe, I swear I nearly took a bite of your burrito. You wouldn't do that. Babe, I think I want another taco. What's that? You want another one? Mm. Have your chips. Mm -mm. I don't even want chips now. I want to have any. Daniel, fuck. I'm gonna answer. Okay, so this article says. Who.com.au. Uh, Maths, Jules, and Cam snub Michael and Martha at the Gold Logie Awards. Even Complete that. bullshit. Cam is 
always lovely, always says hello. He came, um, he came up to us, said hi, we had a chat, how are you? Jules didn't talk to me, which is understandable. She didn't speak to Michael either, but she hasn't spoken to me since I said that I thought she was a little bit of a bully or a snake. Um, and that's my fucking opinion, and I'm allowed to have that. I felt that she was a little bit, I was a little bit intimidated by her. Anyways, it's not about that. She did actually. Somebody stepped on my train on the red carpet and she did push them off and quick. help me because yeah. I was stuck. And I appreciate that. So, Jules, if you're watching or you hear that, I'm very grateful that you did that because Michael was so oblivious to <laughs> no. I was going to be standing Jules there in was a me. She was quicker than me. With my fucking tampon string hanging out in a minute. She was like, bang. Oh, no, I didn't have a chance. I, once I turned, Jules was already down there. Pushing. You she, wouldn't even turn. Jules was pushing. Thank you, Jules. She pushed off the lady. She anyway, so that up. is bullshit. Who.com and also New Idea, I think. Reported. New Idea also reported that they snubbed us. Bullshit. They keep making up the most... They obviously don't have any news. No, I just yeah. Even if you don't say like they don't talk, but there's no bad blood. I think it's yeah. just where they're, they're just both we're living civil. their lives separately, and that's there's nothing else to be made of that whole situation. So I feel like just need to get over. People need to let Jules it go. Jules is go grown. Over. I'm grown. Like we're civil. We don't look at each other and be like, ah, ah. like it was nothing like that. Like we just avoid each other. Cam said hi. He's a cutie. But that's it. Last one. Mm. All right. So. This article is about two individuals who are on the show who decided show to... Show them the article, babe. Nah, who decided no, to... No, show the fucking article. All right, it says, uninvited math stars reportedly booted from the Logies after party by security. And just a part of the article, it says... Um, what is that? As soon as Martha was near them, it all started to kick off. They exchanged some tense words and Innes pretended to vomit on her. The onlooker claims Jessica then shouted something at Martha who ignored the remarks and continued walking. Um, this one's actually true. <laughs> um, we were, Michael and I were walking through the lobby of the Star Casino where the Logies is and um, we had gone back to our rooms to get changed for the after party and then we were walking back to go to the after party and we bumped into Jess and Innes. Anyways, I was completely, like, taken aback because I went up to them to say hi, thinking that we're on good terms because we have been speaking on Instagram and been messaging. So, I thought everything was sweet. Anyway, I walked up to them. They ignored me. Then I said, I was looking at Jess and I'm going, hello. And then she goes, oh, hi. Um, so, she said hi. And then Ines did pretend to vomit on me. She did do a And, um... Like, I don't know why, but Tia, <laughs> I don't give a fuck either, to be quite honest. Like, it's fine. It's so childish. I'm really happy in my life and I don't, I'm so unfazed by it. But it was funny to see them, like, when we're leaving the after party, they were still, they were still there. there at the casino waiting in the buffet to get, like, cold spring rolls from that disgusting buffet. <laughs> Anyways, um, each to their own. But what's your problem? Like, ugh, I don't get it. Um, Just leave it. Yeah. Let them go. That is basically what really happened at the Logies. It was just a very civil night. We went and had a dinner. It was... Did you like your dinner, hon? Yeah, it was good. Babe, you eat dog shit in tinfoil. <laughs> this is also good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dinner was decent. Um, at least they were serving real champagne. That was nice. Um... Was a highlight of your night? That was. That, that there was, was actually it, champagne, champagne on, like, free flow. No, it was nice to see everyone from the show. It was. It was nice to see Nick and Lizzie and Heidi. Like, they always make an effort. And they're mm -hmm. fun. And they always are chatty. But, um, basically, what I did want to say is thank you to everyone who helped us get our looks and ourselves ready for the night. I think the highlight for me of the Logies was the getting ready process. And you know, making my dress and finding my jewelry and getting my hair done because I am obsessed with my extensions. Um, so thank you, first of all, big thank you to Gabby, um, hair by Gabrielle on the day. She literally was running around like crazy. She was going between Sophie Monk and me and Jade. Is it Jade? Mm -hmm. 
just so many girls getting so many girls ready. Yeah, it was chaotic. Michael <laughs> never seen anything. Well, I got like ready it. in half an hour before the <laughs> before the show. So. so big thank you to Gabby. Big thank you to Lady D from LDL who did my hair extensions. Massive thank you to Elodie at Benita Couture who made my dress and also the pearl the pearl choker or the pearl collar that went with the dress. Also, thank you so much to Keshet Jewelry for my rings, um, which I'm wearing because I'm scared of just leaving them in my bag. Um, who else? Do you want me to start on mine now? You can keep thinking of yours and I'll do mine. I did my own makeup, so. She also did my makeup. So thank you, first of all, thank you to Martha for the makeup. I appreciated it. Uh, that was nice. She did it in about 30 seconds flat when we were late for the red carpet. We were Standard. Out the door. Didn't even do my eyebrows, but that's alright. Um, I want to thank. Uh, it's like an, an award speech. What and your golden logie. Yeah, right. No, um, my suit was made by Couture Menswear. Uh, they did a custom suit for me, which was absolutely amazing and fit perfectly. My shoes were bed. So thank you to Baird Footwear, the comfiest shoes I've ever worn, and my rings. You actually didn't complain. Yeah, I know, they were perfect. You always complain. And Thomas Sabo did, <coughs> excuse me. Thomas Sabo uh, gave me some rings to wear, which I absolutely love. So thank you to those. I don't like the rings. She does like the I rings. I want to put it out there that for me personally. No, she didn't like the ring on the finger. You wanted to change fingers. Hun, I didn't like the ring. She Full loved stop. the rings. Thanks, Thomas Sabo. I told you to get the watch. The watch was so much nicer. Thomas Sabo also have rings. really nice watches. And yeah, rings. the watches were nice, but the rings, you don't wear rings. I like and now the all rings. of a sudden you're I out here like the rings. trying to be Captain Jack Sparrow. I'm confused. <laughs> People can change. Wait till I get my pirate hat. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is the truth. You heard it from us. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to subscribe up, down, Wherever it is, left, right. Leave your comments, we'll get back to you. Please like the video. And also, if you guys want to see my Logie look, I'll film that for you and I'll get it up real quick this week. If you want to see it, comment and let me know. Thank you guys so much. See ya.